Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use section breaks in Word to create different types of page numbers in the footer. I'm trying to create a report template, and I'm using this guide over at University of Wellington as a sample, but I want to kind of build up my Word document to have the necessary formatting. In this video, I want to focus on the fact that the title page doesn't have any page number. Uh, the table of contents does have a page number. It's lowercase Roman numerals. So there's the uh, one and there's the two. And then once we get into the main part of the document, it switches over into Arabic numerals, one, two, and so forth. So let's do that in Microsoft Word. Now I've got my document so far, and it's, and it's just a two-page document. So I want to create a new section. Um, before I create the new section though, I want to go ahead and give this section a purpose. So right up here at the top right, at the top of my page, I'm going to pretend that I'll, I'll have an executive summary in here. Just some fake text. And then I'm going to have a table of contents. And some bogus text there. Now of course my bogus text sections, those are just going to be normal, whereas the uh, Headings for the other ones, those can just stay at heading ones for now. That's no problem. So now I've got these two sections. But I want to break these up into their own pages, but also within their own section of the document. So what I'm going to do is put my insertion point right in front of the first section title, in this case, Executive Summary. I'm going to head over to my Layout ribbon, go to Breaks, and I'm going to do a section break next page. Now you're not going to notice much happen, but still, next page. It jumped down a little bit and you didn't really see what was going on. If I had my home ribbon and then my formatting marks, you still don't really see anything there. But if I go down to the bottom of my first page, there is a little section break next page at the end of my previous content. So I'm okay with that. Turn off those formatting marks for now. Now I'm going to go to the beginning of introduction. This is the start of my normal document. This is where I'm going to be using the Arabic page numbers. So Put my insertion point in front of there, layout, breaks, section, next page, and now that one does jump down to a new page because it wasn't at a new page before. Now I want these two items to be on their own pages as well. However, I don't want to I don't want them to be different sections. So I'll put my insertion point in front of table of contents, and here I'm just going to do a control enter, which is a page break. So I've got a page break there. And then just to build up these other sections, introduction is on a new section by itself. I'll go to front of uh, conclusions, press control enter, make a page break. Recommendations, control enter to make a page break. References, page break, and appendices, page break. Now, it seems like there's a lot going on, so let me zoom out for a bit. And ultimately the goal is, is that we have our title page, which is a section by itself, by the way. And then I have executive summary and table of contents in their own section. And then I have introduction, conclusions, and recommendations, and on and on in their own section. So I should have three sections in this document. It might help if I had my formatting marks on, and I can start to see where section breaks and page breaks are. You can't always clearly see section breaks and page breaks, but I can see them here. There's a new section starting at the end of page one, goes into page two and three, then at the end of page three, goes into page four, five, and six. Now, I want to start putting in my page numbers. And to do that, I'm going to stay zoomed out for a little bit, but I'm just going to double click in the footer of any page, but I guess specifically I'll be double clicking in the footer of my page two. And now I've got these labels that are actually are pretty helpful. I can see here's um, the footer of section one, which is my title page. And then I have footer of section two for pages two and three. And then down here I've got obviously section three. So I can confirm that I do have three sections in this document. Now I'm going to head right over to, I'm already in the footer of page two. Let me zoom in a bit more on this. There we go. So I'm in the footer of section two. I'm going to leave my formatting, uh, formatting marks on for now. I'm going to press my tab key once and then twice. And I want to put a page number in here. But before I do, by default, 
footers and headers are linked to the previous. I can see same as previous. I don't want that to happen in this situation. So on my header and footer ribbon, I'm going to click or uncheck the link to previous option, breaking that link. So I'm still in footer section two, and you can see that the same as previous is gone. Now what I'm going to do is just go over here, header and footer, page number, current position, plain number. And it defaults with the uh, Arabic numerals, which is not what I want. This section I want it to be Roman numerals, but it defaults to Arabic numerals, page two. I'm going to go ahead and select that, page number, format page numbers. I'm going to choose the lowercase Roman numerals, that's what I want, and I'm going to choose to start at I or 1. Click OK. That's looking pretty good. So if I go back, my title page has no page number. Page 2 now is Roman numeral 1. Page 3 is Roman numeral 2. And then I'm going down here to my page 4. It's an Arabic numeral, which is what I want, but I want this to be at number 1. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Oh, I need to uncheck link to previous so it's no longer connected to the previous. Now I can go back in here. Page number, format page number. Arabic numerals are fine, but I will start at number one. Click OK, and there we go. So now I have a one, two, three. So I'm going to zoom out a bit so I can see multiple pages at once. And now I can see, let me turn off my formatting marks. Title page has nothing. My first section has Roman numerals 1 and 2, and then my main section has Arabic numerals 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and that would continue on. So by using section break next page and then inserting page numbers where I unlink them from the previous section, you can have custom page numbers for each section of your large document. Take care.